The space program of the People's Republic of China is directed by the China National Space Administration. Its technological roots can be traced back to the late 1950s, when the People's Republic began a ballistic missile program in response to perceived American threats. However, the first Chinese crewed space program only began several decades later, when an accelerated program of technological development culminated in Yang Liwei's successful 2003 flight aboard Shenzhou 5. This achievement made China the third country to independently send humans into space. Plans currently include a permanent Chinese space station in 2020 and crewed expeditions to the Moon and Mars. History and Recent Developments Equals during the period of Sino-Soviet cooperation equals, after the United States threatened to use nuclear weapons during the Korean War, Chairman Mao Zedong decided that only a nuclear deterrent of its own would guarantee the security of the newly founded PRC. Additionally, he wanted China to gain status among the world's powers that a euro as he felt a euro did not respect him. From this, he decided instead to only implement his new plan with the Republic of China as China. Thus, Mao announced his decision to develop China's own strategic weapons, including nuclear bombs and associated missiles for the warheads, during a Communist Party of China Central Committee meeting held on January 15, 1955. The Chinese nuclear weapons program was designated by the codename of O2. The Fifth Academy of the National Defense Ministry was founded on October 8, 1956, with Qiang Xuzhen, who had just been deported from the United States after being accused of being a communist during the Red Scare, as director. The Academy started the development of the first ballistic missile program, adopted on March 1, 1956 and known as the first 12-year plan for Chinese aerospace. After the launch of mankind's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, by the Soviet Union on October 4, 1957, Mao decided during the National Congress of the CPC on May 17, 1958 to make China an equal with the superpowers, we need the artificial too, by adopting Project 581 with the objective of placing a satellite in orbit by 1959 to celebrate the 10th anniversary of the PRC's founding. This goal would be achieved in three phases, developing sounding rockets first, then launching small satellites and in the final phase, large satellites. The construction of China's first missile test base, codenamed Base 20, started in April 1958 and it entered service on October 20 of the same year. The first Chinese missile was built in October 1958 as a reverse-engineered copy of the Soviet A-2 short-range ballistic missile, itself an upgraded version of a German V-2 rocket. Its range was 590 kilometers, weighing 20.5 tons and propelled with liquid oxygen and alcohol. China's first ever T-7 sounding rocket was successfully launched from the Nanhui launch site on February 19, 1960. China started to develop medium-range ballistic missiles in July 1960, with an increased range double that of the A-2. During the cordial Sino-Soviet relations of the 1950s, the USSR engaged in a cooperative technology transfer program with the PRC under which they trained Chinese students and provided the fledgling program with a sample A-2 rocket. But when Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev was denounced as revisionist, with Mao asserting that there had been a counter-revolution in the Soviet Union and that capitalism had been restored, the friendly relationship between the two countries turned to confrontation. As a consequence, all Soviet technological assistance was abruptly withdrawn after the 1960 Sino-Soviet split. Equals missile and space development after the Sino-Soviet split equals, only 17 days after the last Soviet expert had left China, the first Soviet built a two rocket fueled with Chinese-made propellant was launched with success on September 10, 1960. Due to Cold War tension, Mao decided in December 1963 that China should develop missile defense system capacity. During a conference held on February 2, 1964, Directive 640, 640 EOC was adopted. The first successful launch of a Chinese 1059 SRBM missile copy of the A-2 was conducted only two months later on November 5, 1960. The missile was also designated DF-1. 
The first DF 2 Emma BM was tested on March 21, 1962, but failed. Development eventually continued with the redesigned DF 2 A Emma BM, which was successfully tested on June 29, 1964. It would enter service by the end of 1966. The first successful launch and recovery of a T 7A S 1 sounding rocket carrying a biological experiment was on July 19, 1964 from Base 603, a registered trademark Permilla 3 quarters one half out of the first of 3 quarters E Ishni one half C section AE unregistered trademark telephone euro at Permil I or degree. China started to develop the DF-5 intercontinental ballistic missile program in August 1965. It was designed to carry a single nuclear warhead and has a maximum range of 12,000 kilometers. In November 1966, it was decided to build a second ballistic missile test site, the Northern Missile Test Site, in Shaanxi Province, farther away from China's northern border. On October 27, 1966, a nuclear-tipped DF-2A missile was launched from ICANN and the 20 kilotons yield nuclear warhead exploded at the height of 569 meters over the target in Lop Normal Base 21 situated 894 kilometers away. On December 26, 1966, China tested its first indigenously developed DF-3 intermediate-range ballistic missile with success. The DF-3 was a single stage single warhead missile with a maximum range of 2,500 kilometers. The development of the DF-4 IRBM began in 1967 in parallel with a single-stage DF-3. In March 1967, development started on the July 1 submarine-launched ballistic missile to accompany the Type 092 ballistic missile submarine also in development. As the space race between the two superpowers reached its climax with the conquest of the moon, Mao and Zhou Enlai decided on July 14, 1967 that the PRC should not be left behind, and started China's own crewed space program. China's first spacecraft designed for human occupancy was named Xu Guang-1 in January 1968. China's Space Medical Institute was founded on April 1, 1968 and the Central Military Commission issued the order to start the selection of astronauts. As part of the third-line effort to relocate critical defense infrastructure to the relatively remote interior, it was decided to construct a new space center in the mountainous region of Zishang in the Sichuan province, codenamed Base 27. A first liquid-propellant DF-3 medium-range ballistic missile was successfully launched from the northern missile test site on December 18, 1968 inaugurating the test site. In August 1969, the development of China's first heavy-lift satellite launch vehicle, the FB-1, e pound Asia euro -A, was started by Shanair Euro unregistered trademark S Second Bureau of Mechanic Electrical Industry. The all-liquid two-stage launcher was derived from the DF-5 ICBM. Only a few months later, a parallel heavy-lift SLV program, also based on the same DF-5 ICBM and known as CZ-2, was started in Beijing by the First Space Academy. The DF-4 was used to develop the Long March 1st SLV. A newly designed spin-up orbital insertion solid propellant rocket motor third stage was added to the two existing nitric acid UDMH liquid propellant stages. An attempt to use this vehicle to launch a Chinese satellite before Japan's first attempt ended in failure on November 16, 1969. The first DF-4 liquid propellant with two-stage, single-warhead IRBM was tested with success on January 30, 1970. The addition of a second stage allowed the missile to increase its range to over 4750 kilometers. The second satellite launch attempt on April 24, 1970 was successful. A CZ-1 was used to launch the 173 kg Dongfang Hongai, also known as Mao-1. It was the heaviest first satellite placed into orbit by a nation, exceeding the combined masses of the first satellites of the other four previous countries. The third stage of the CZ-1 was specially equipped with a 40M2 solar reflector deployed by the centrifugal force developed by the spin-up orbital insertion solid propellant stage. Therefore, the faint magnitude 5 to 8 brightness of the DFH-1 made the satellite barely visible with naked eyes was consequently dramatically increased to a comfortable magnitude 2 to 3. 
the PRC's second satellite was launched with the last of the CZ-1 SLVs on March 3, 1971. The 221 kg Shijian 1 was equipped with a magnetometer and cosmic ray X ray detectors. The first crewed space program, known as Project 714, was officially adopted in April 1971 with the goal of sending two astronauts into space by 1973 aboard the Shuguang spacecraft. The first screening process for astronauts had already ended on March 15, 1971, with 19 astronauts chosen. The program would soon be cancelled due to political turmoil. A first flight test of the DF-5 ICBM was carried out in October 1971. On August 10, 1972, the new heavy lift SLV FB-1 made its maiden test flight, with only partial success. The CZ-2A launcher, originally designed to carry the Shuguang-1 spacecraft, was first tested on November 5, 1974 carrying China Euro unregistered trademark S first FSWO recoverable satellite, but failed. After some redesign work, the modified CZ-2C successfully launched the FSWO No. 1 recoverable satellite into orbit on November 26, 1975. After expansion, the Northern Missile Test Site was upgraded as a test base in January 1976 to become the Northern Missile Test Base known as Base 25. Equals after Mao Zedong's death equals, after Mao died on September 9, 1976, his rival, Deng Xiaoping, denounced during the Cultural Revolution as reactionary and therefore forced to retire from all his offices, slowly re-emerged as China's new leader in 1978. At first, new development was slowed. Then, several key projects deemed unnecessary were simply cancelled a Euro the Fanji ABM system, the Xianfeng anti-missile supergun, the ICBM Early Warning Network 7010 tracking radar and the land-based high-power anti-missile laser program. Nevertheless, some development did proceed. The first Yuan-1 class space tracking ship was commissioned in 1979. The first full-range test of the DF-5 ICBM was conducted on May 18, 1980. The payload reached its target located 9,300 kilometers away in the South Pacific and retrieved five minutes later by helicopter. Further development of the Long March rocket series allowed the PRC to initiate a commercial launch program in 1985, which has since launched over 30 foreign satellites, primarily for European and Asian interests. The next crewed space program was even more ambitious and proposed in March 1986, as Astronautics Plan 863-2. This consisted of a crewed spacecraft used to ferry astronaut crews to a space station. Several spaceplane designs were rejected two years later and a simpler space capsule was chosen instead. Although the project did not achieve its goals, it would ultimately evolve into the 1992 Project 921. The China Ministry of Aerospace Industry was founded on July 5, 1988. On September 15, 1988, a July 1 SLBM was launched from a Type 092 submarine. The maximum range of the SLBM is 2150 kilometers. Equals after the end of the Cold War equals, along Deng's policy of capitalist reforms in the Chinese economy, Chinese culture also changed. Therefore, names used in the space program, previously all chosen from the revolutionary history of the PRC, were soon replaced with mystical religious ones. Thus, new Long March carrier rockets were renamed Divine Arrow, Spacecraft Divine Vessel, Spaceplane Divine Dragon, Land-Based High Power Laser Divine Light and Supercomputer Divine Might. In June 1993, China Aerospace Industry Corporation was founded in Beijing. On February 15, 1996, during the flight of the first Long March 3rd B heavy carrier rocket carrying Intel Sat 708, the rocket veered off course immediately after clearing the launch platform, crashing 22 seconds later. It crashed 1.85 kilometers away from the launch pad into a nearby mountain village. On the 50th anniversary of the PRC's founding, China launched a Shenzhou 1 spacecraft on November 20, 1999, and recovered it after a flight of 21 hours. 
the country became the third country with a successful crewed space program by sending an astronaut into space aboard Shenzhou 5 on October 15, 2003 for more than 21 hours. China has since turned its focus to extraterrestrial exploration starting with the Moon. The first Chinese lunar exploration program uncrewed lunar orbiter Chang'e 1 was successfully launched on October 24, 2007, making China the fifth nation to successfully orbit the Moon. Chinese Space Program and the International Community equals Dual Use Technologies and Outer Space equals, the PRC is a member of the United Nations Committee on the Peaceful Uses of Outer Space and a signatory to all United Nations treaties and conventions on space with the exception of the unpopular 1979 Moon Treaty. The United States government has long been resistant to the use of PRC launch services by American industry due to concerns over alleged civilian technology transfer that could have dual-use military applications to countries such as North Korea, Iran or Syria, and announced an official embargo against the PRC in 2000. Thus, Financial retaliatory measures have been taken on many occasions against several Chinese space companies. Equals Chinese exclusion policy of NASA equals. Due to security concerns, all researchers from the U.S. National Aeronautics and Space Administration are prohibited from working with Chinese citizens affiliated with a Chinese state enterprise or entity. In April 2011, the 112th United States Congress banned NASA from using its funds to host Chinese visitors at NASA facilities. In March 2013, the U.S. Congress passed legislation barring Chinese nationals from entering NASA facilities without a waiver from NASA. Organization Initially the space program of the PRC was organized under the People's Liberation Army, particularly the Second Artillery Corps. In the 1990s, however, the PRC reorganized the space program as part of a general reorganization of the defense industry to make it resemble Western defense procurement. The China National Space Administration, an agency within the Commission of Science, Technology and Industry for National Defense currently headed by Sun Lian, is now responsible for launches. The Long March rocket is produced by the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology and satellites are produced by the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation. The latter organizations are state-owned enterprises. However, it is the intent of the PRC government that they should not be actively state-managed and that they should behave much as private companies would in the West. Equals universities and institutes equals, the space program also has close links with, School of Astronautics, Beijing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics, Bihang University, School of Aerospace, Tsinghua University, School of Astronautics, Northwestern Polytechnical University, School of Aeronautics and Astronautics, Zhejiang University, Institute of Aerospace Science and Technology, Shanghai Jiutong University, College of Aeronautics, Harbin Institute of Technology, School of Automation Science and Electrical Engineering, Bihang University. Equals Space Cities equals Dongfeng Space Site High One Quarter or also known as Base 20 or Dongfeng Base, Beijing Space City, Wenkang Space City, Shanghai Space City, Yantai Space City, Guizhou Aerospace Industrial Park E One Quarter or also known as Base 061, founded in 2002 after approval of Project 863 for industrialization of aerospace research centers. Equals Suborbital Launch Sites equals Nanhui first successful launch of a T-7M sounding rocket on February 19, 1960. Base 603 also known as Guangde launch site. The first successful flight of a biological experimental T-7A, S-1, sounding rocket transporting eight white mice was launched and recovered on July 19, 1964. Equals satellite launch centers equals, the PRC operates four satellite launch centers, ICANN Satellite Launch Center, Zishang Satellite Launch Center, Tiwan Satellite Launch Center, Wenkang Satellite Launch Center. Equals Monitoring and Control Centers equals, Beijing Aerospace Command and Control Center, Xi'an Satellite Monitor and Control Center also known as Base 26 I 1 quarter and OEAY or Degree I 1 quarter per mil, fleet of six Yuan 1 class base tracking ships. Data Relay Satellite Tianlian I, 
specially developed to decrease the communication time between the Shenzhou 7 spaceship and the ground. It will also improve the amount of data that can be transferred. The current orbit coverage of 12% will thus be increased to a total of about 60%. Deep space tracking network composed with radio antennas in Beijing, Shanghai, Kunming and Yurumuki, forming a 3,000 km VLBI I1 quarter CCICR squared E paragraph per mil I1 quarter per mil. Domestic tracking stations, new integrated land-based space monitoring and control network stations, forming a large triangle with Kashi in the northwest of China, Jiamuzi in the northeast and Sanya in the south. Wainan Station, Changkun Station, Kunde Station, Zeni Station, Nanhai Station, Tainchen Station, Xaman Station, Lushan Station, Jiamuzi Station, Dongfeng Station, Heshan Station. Overseas Tracking Stations, Karachi Station, Tarawa Station, Kiribati, Malindi Station, Sikobman Tracking Station in Namibia, plus shared space tracking facilities with France, Brazil, Sweden in Australia. Crewed Spacecraft Landing Site, Siziwang Bana. Crewed Space Flight Programs. Equals Project 714 equals. As the space race between the two superpowers reached its climax with the conquest of the Moon, Mao Zedong and Zhou Enlai decided on July 14, 1967 that the PRC should not be left behind, and therefore initiated China's own crewed space program. The top secret Project 714 aimed to put two people into space by 1973 with the Shuguang spacecraft. Nineteen PLAAF pilots were selected for this goal on March 1971. The Shuguang-1 spacecraft to be launched with a CZ-2A rocket was designed to carry a crew of two. The program was officially cancelled on May 13, 1972 for economic reasons though the internal politics of the Cultural Revolution likely motivated the closure. The short-lived second crewed program was based on the successful implementation of landing technology by FSW satellites. It was announced few times in 1978 with the open publishing of some details including photos, but then was abruptly cancelled in 1980. It has been argued that the second crewed program was created solely for propaganda purposes, and was never intended to produce results. Equals Project 863 equals, a new crewed space program was proposed by the Chinese Academy of Sciences in March 1986, as Astronautics Plan 863-2. This consisted of a crewed spacecraft used to ferry astronaut crews to a space station. In September of that year, astronauts in training were presented by the Chinese media. The various proposed crewed spacecraft were mostly spaceplanes. Project 863 ultimately evolved into the 1992 Project 921. Equals Project 921 equals Spacecraft. In 1992, authorization and funding was given for the first phase of Project 921, which was a plan to launch a crewed spacecraft. The Shenzhou program had four uncrewed test flights and two crewed missions. The first one was Shenzhou 1 on November 20, 1999. On January 9, 2001 Shenzhou 2 launched carrying test animals. Shenzhou 3 and Shenzhou 4 were launched in 2002, carrying test dummies. Following these was the successful Shenzhou 5, China's first crewed mission in space on October 15, 2003 which carried Yang Luwe in orbit for 21 hours and made China the third nation to launch a human into orbit. Shenzhou 6 followed two years later ending the first phase of the Project 921. Missions are launched on the Long March 2nd F rocket from the ICANN Satellite Launch Center. The China Crewed Space Engineering Office provides engineering and administrative support for the crewed Shenzhou missions. Space Laboratory the second phase of the Project 921 started with Shenzhou 7, China's first spacewalk mission. Then, two crewed missions were planned to the first Chinese space laboratory. The PRC initially designed the Shenzhou spacecraft with docking technologies imported from Russia, therefore compatible with the International Space Station. On September 29, 2011, China launched Tiangong-1. This target module is intended to be the first step to testing the technology required for a planned space station. 
On October 31, 2011, a long March 2 F rocket lifted the Shenzhou 8 and crewed spacecraft which docked twice with the Tiangong 1 module. The Shenzhou 9 craft took off on June 16, 2012 with a crew of three. It successfully docked with the Tiangong 1 laboratory on June 18, 2012, at 6.07 UTC, marking China's first manned spacecraft docking. Another manned mission, Shenzhou 10, launched on June 11, 2013. The Tiangong 1 target module is then expected to be deorbited. A second space lab, Tiangong 2, is scheduled for launch in 2016. This will be larger than Tiangong 1 at some 20 tons and 14.4 meters length and will be visited by future Shenzhou missions, though exact details are not yet available. Space Station A larger basic permanent space station would be the third and last phase of Project 921. This will be a modular design with an eventual weight of around 60 tons, to be completed sometime before 2020. The first section, designated Tiangong 3, is scheduled for launch after Tiangong 2. Tiangong 3 will weigh 22 tons and be 18.1 meters long. Additional modules will be connected over several missions to build the space station. This could also be the beginning of China's crude international cooperation, the existence of which was officially disclosed for the first time after the launch of Shenzhou 7. The Chinese space station is scheduled to be completed in 2020, just as the International Space Station is scheduled to retire. Equals proposed lunar exploration equals. In February 2004, the PRC formally started the implementation phase of its uncrewed moon exploration project. According to Sun Lian, administrator of the China National Space Administration, the project will involve three phases, orbiting the moon, landing, and returning samples. The first phase planned to spend 1.4 billion renminbi to orbit a satellite around the moon before 2007, which is ongoing. Phase 2 involves sending a lander before 2010. Phase 3 involves collecting lunar soil samples before 2020. On November 27, 2005, the deputy commander of the crewed space flight program announced that the PRC planned to complete a space station and a crewed mission to the moon by 2020 assuming funding was approved by the government. On December 14, 2005, it was reported an effort to launch lunar orbiting satellites will be supplanted in 2007 by a program aimed at accomplishing an uncrewed lunar landing. A program to return uncrewed space vehicles from the Moon will begin in 2012 and last for five years, until the crewed program gets underway in 2017, with a crewed Moon landing sometime after that. Nonetheless, the decision to develop a totally new moon rockets in the 1962 Soviet US 700M class able to launch a 500-ton payload in LTO and a more modest 50 tons LTO payload LV has been discussed in a 2006 conference by academician Zhang Guishan, a liquid propellant rocket engine specialist, who developed the CZ-2 and CZ-4A rockets engines. On June 22, 2006, Longli Hao Deputy Chief Architect of the Lunar Pro Project, laid out a schedule for China's lunar exploration. He set 2024 as the date of China's first moonwalk. In September 2010, it was announced that the country is planning to carry out explorations in deep space by sending a man to the moon by 2025. China also hopes to bring a moon rock sample back to Earth in 2017, and subsequently build an observatory on the moon's surface. Yi Feijin, Commander-in-Chief of the Chang'e Euro Unregistered Trademark E program and an academic at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, added that China has the full capacity to accomplish Mars exploration by 2013. On December 14, 2013 China's Chang'e 3 became the first object to soft land on the Moon since Luna 24 in 1976. As indicated by the official Chinese Lunar Exploration Program in Sinia denoted by a calligraphic moon ideogram in the shape of an ancient lunar crescent, with two human footsteps at its center, the ultimate objective of the program is to establish a permanent human presence on the Earth's natural satellite. Yang Luwei declared at the 16th Human in Space Symposium of International Academy of Astronautics in Beijing, 
on May 22, 2007 that building a lunar base was a crucial step to realize a flight to Mars and farther planets. According to practice, since the whole project is only at a very early preparatory research phase, no official crewed moon program has been announced yet by the authorities. But its existence is nonetheless revealed by regular intentional leaks in the media. A typical example is the lunar roving vehicle that was shown on a Chinese TV channel during the 2008 May Day celebrations. Equals Mission to Mars and Beyond Equals Sun Layan, administrator of the China National Space Administration, said on July 20, 2006 that China would start deep space exploration focusing on Mars over the next five years, during the 11th five-year plan program period. The first uncrewed Mars exploration program could take place between 2015 and Euro 2033, followed by a crewed phase in 2040 to 2060. The Mars 500 study of 2011 prepared for this manned mission. Moreover, in order to make crewed flight in deep space toward Mars safer, a space weather forecast system will be completed by 2017 with the CAFU mission satellites placed at the Lagrangian point L1. The chief designer of the Shenzhou spacecraft has stated in 2006 in an interview that Goals, the PRC space program has several goals. The China National Space Administration Policy White Paper lists its short-term goals as build a long-term Earth observation system, set up an independent satellite telecommunications network, establish an independent satellite navigation and positioning system, provide commercial launch services, set up a remote sensing system, study space science such as microgravity, space materials, life sciences, and astronomy, plan for exploration of the moon, among their stated longer-term goals are, improve their standing in the world of space science, establish a crewed space station, crewed missions to the moon, establish a crewed lunar base, unmanned mission to Mars. List of projects. Equals satellites in science equals Space-based ASAT systems small and nano-satellites developed by the Small Satellite Research Institute of the Chinese Academy of Space Technology. The Double Star mission comprised two satellites launched in 2003 and 2004, jointly with ESA, to study the Earth's magnetosphere. Earth Observation, Remote Sensing or Reconnaissance Satellite Series, CBERS, Dong Fang Hong, Fan Hui Shi Ixing, Jorgen and Zhuan 3. Tianlian 2 Next Generation Data Relay Satellite System, based on the DFH 4 satellite bus, with two satellites providing up to 85% coverage. Bido Navigation System or Compass Navigation Satellite System, composed of 60 to 70 satellites, during the 11th five year plan period. Astrophysics Research, with the launch of the world's largest solar space telescope in 2008 and Project 973 Space Hard X-ray Modulation Telescope by 2010. CAFU mission satellites for space weather forecasts will be completed by 2017. Deep Space Tracking Network with the completion of the FAST, the world's largest single-dish radio antenna of 500M in Guizhou, and a 3,000 km VLBI radio antenna. A deep impact style mission to test process of redirecting the direction of an asteroid or comet. Equals Satellite Launch Center equals, Hainan Spaceport 4th and Southernmost Space Center, will be upgraded to suit the new CZ-5 Heavy ELV and crewed lunar missions. Equals Launch Vehicles equals, LM-5D, air-launched SLV able to place a 50 kg plus payload to 500 km SSO, KHUZ-2, KHUZ-1, KT-1A, KT-2. KT-2A new class of all solid orbital launch vehicles, KHUZ-1B with addition of two solid boosters, CZ-1D based on a CZ-1 but with a new N204 slash UDMH second stage, CZ-2E, A, intended for launch of Chinese space station modules. Payload capacity up to 14 tons in LEO and 9000 liftoff thrust developed by 12 rocket engines with enlarged fairing of 5.20 meters in diameter and length of 12.39 meters to accommodate large spacecraft, CZ-2 Fahrenheit per gram modified CZ-2F without escape tower, specially used for launching unmanned missions such as Shenzhou cargo and space laboratory module with payload capacity up to 11.2 tons in LEO, 
CZ-3B, A, more powerful long march rockets using larger size liquid propellant strap-on motors, with payload capacity up to 13 tons in LEO, CZ-3C launch vehicle combining CZ-3B core with two boosters from CZ-2E, Changjiang 5 second generation ELV with more efficient and non-toxic propellants, Changjiang 6 or small launch vehicle, with short launch preparation period low cost and high reliability, to meet the launch need of small satellites up to 500 kg to 700 km SSO, first flight for 2010. With Fan Relic Xiang as chief designer of the project, Chang Jiang 7 used for Phase 4 of Lunar Exploration Program, that is permanent base expected for 2024. Second generation heavy ELV for lunar and deep space trajectory injection, Capable of supporting a Soviet L1 per liter 3 like lunar landing mission, Project 921 3 Space Shuttle a Euro second generation manned spacecraft Shenlong Spaceplane Heights Maglev Launch Assist Space Shuttle New second generation manned, reusable spacecraft, Long March 9th, Long March 11th. Equals Space Exploration equals Project 921 1 Euro Shenzhou spacecraft. Project 921-11, X-11 spacecraft, Project 921-2 a Euro Chinese Space Laboratory and Chinese Permanent Space Station, short-term and then permanent occupation, Shenzhou Cargo Euro unmanned version of the Shenzhou spacecraft to resupply the Chinese Permanent Space Station and return cargo back to Earth, Tianzhou, unmanned cargo vessel to resupply the Chinese Permanent Space Station based on the design of Tiangong-1, not meant for re-entry, but usable for garbage disposal. Chinese Lunar Exploration Program, first phase lunar program a Euro launched in 2007 with CZ-3A, two unmanned lunar orbital probes, second phase lunar program a Euro launched in 2012 with CZ-5-E, first moon landing of a couple of rovers, third phase lunar program a Euro to be launched in 2017 with CZ-5-E automated moon landing and return sample, fourth phase lunar program a Euro to be launched in 2024 with CZ-7, manned mission and permanent bases. Chinese exploration of Mars a Euro the Yingguo-1 orbiter was launched in November 2011 in the joint Phobos-Grunt mission with Russia, but it failed to leave Earth orbit and underwent destructive re-entry on January 15, 2012. Further planned missions include rover landers and possible crewed missions in the far future. Anatoly Permanov, head of the Russian Space Agency has revealed in September 2006 in RIA Novosti that China was about to sign a contract by the end of 2006 to participate in a Russian project to bring soil back to Earth from Phobos, one of Mars' two moons. The mission will also collect samples on Mars, according to Xinhua. Five decades after the first American mission to Mars, the People's Daily announced that China was finally technically ready to explore Mars. Deep Space Exploration A Euro Space Faring Through the Entire Solar System Research, the Center for Space Science and Applied Research, was founded in 1987 by merging the former Institute of Space Physics and the Center for Space Science and Technology. The research fields of CSSAR mainly cover one. Space Engineering Technology 2. Space Weather Exploration, Research, and Forecasting 3. Microwave Remote Sensing and Information Technology See also Bihang University, China and Weapons of Mass Destruction, Chinese Women in Space, Harbin Institute of Technology References External links, China National Space Administration Center for Space Science and Applied Research A Euro Chinese Academy of Sciences, A Euro Sha Registered Trademark EH Gamma Euro CSHAE to the first C Micro AC per mil A Euro Journal of Astronautics published by the Chinese Society of Astronautics, Go Taikonauts. An unofficial Chinese space website, Mark Wade's Encyclopedia Astronautica, China's Space Ambitions, Analysis by Joan Johnson Fries. IFRI Proliferation Papers Now Degree 18, 2007, U.S. Senate Testimony on Chinese Space Program, given by James Aberg. Excerpts from Senate Q&A Period on Chinese Space Program, Dragon Space, China's Civilian, 
military and crewed space programs, Chinese threat to American leadership in space, analysis by Gabriel Garibaldi, Chinese astronaut biographies, Scientific American magazine China's Great Leap Upward, white paper on China space activities the coming five years, video of China's first spacewalk, dead link.